Welcome to the JGTV universe. Is everybody in? Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. Sports. Pedro, you want to be on this thing? Tell us how you feel. Have you been listening to what we're saying, Pedro? Yeah, man. Pedro, I'm trying. We are both two guys who are not, let's just say, arm wrestling historians who have felt the sting that it is that keeps us connected to the sport. There's guys like yourself and others who take it to a gladiator warrior level. And with the time that I'm provided and the things that I have been put in front of me, I can't be that guy. So what I do is I try to put myself in the fire like you guys. And no matter if it's win or lose, I get the experience so that when you guys are up there, I can feel what you're going through because I've been there, whether I win or lose. Correct. So I want to get your take on it, you big goddamn gorilla, <laughs> on where arm wrestling is at. Where it's been and where it's going in the eyes of Pedro Rodriguez. How long have you been following it? Did you follow arm wrestling before you started arm wrestling? Uh, or did it all happen together? It, it pretty much all started at close to the same time. And tell me how that happened. I used to uh, box and do uh, kickboxing, jujitsu, stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I had some, some issues with, with life. Yeah, yeah, I everybody has everything. life issues. So, so... One day, um, again, watching uh, Game of Arms. Yeah, Game of Arms is, there was, is what there locked was a lot of my an episode on. about um, Alan Fisher. He's mm -hmm. very... Like, oh, and Christian, his son, and his Christian son, man. his yeah. son coming to see, Yeah, that got me so, all teary eyed and motherfucker. I remember seeing this old man who was a maniac. He was the craziest guy. Did you know who he was before the thing? I did not know. Okay. He was one of the craziest guys of the bunch. And then I realized he's he's like a pastor of a church. Yeah, no I'm doubt. Like, I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, right. I'm like, you know, this is this is a godly man. Yeah. But he's such a like a beast. A at fucking the same warrior. Time. Yeah. And that hit me personally because like that's that's like me. No like, doubt. In in a weird way, like yeah. yeah, I got a lot of my vices, which no I'm doubt. sure if you follow me on we all do on all your. But this sport kind of, it, it saves a lot of people from totally self-destructing more yes. so than yes. it doesn't, is what I'm saying. Yeah. None of us are perfect in this thing. We're all a bunch of fucking wild animals. So, Let's just be honest. That's why. A lot of times, like, you know, I don't I don't preach the word and all that, but I bring I bring the Lord with me everywhere I go. For sure, you have to. Yeah, this was just... Uh, just so uh, when you got in this thing... Yes. How long have you been in? About three years, you say? About five years now. Is it different now than when you first started? Yeah, there's a lot more people is it, involved. Can you explain to me what is the change, whether it's good or bad? What 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 changed? Uh, social media has blown up the sport a lot. In probably both ways. In, yes, in both yeah. ways. It's good because... Um, you know, there's so much information on how to do stuff. No doubt. And I, I see these these newcomers that are just complete animals. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, it took me four years to learn this yeah. stuff. And a new newcomers coming and beating me like, you yeah, know, I don't know. Yeah, different kind of like, fucking ball doing game. The same shit I'm doing. But I don't know how far you've been following me, Pedro, as far as what I'm doing with the videos. But what I'm trying to really do, and and I don't understand why, but I get more joy out of explaining what's going on while we're there with all of us than me doing it myself. That Does that might, make any sense? That might Because be I feel like I feel like this is a beautiful thing yes. that we get to experience, but not a lot of people know about it. That might be and it's not black and white. To arm wrestling. Yeah. Like like, yeah, you are I'm a strong bridge. on the table. Yeah, I'm half decent. Good. I'm not like a jerk off, but, but I'm not like going to be a world champion. But I mean. maybe your your videos exposing yeah, it, for talking, sure. making people out of all of us. It's just crazy. The last tournament I went to was uh, New York. Yeah. We had the Empire Arms Joint. Um, no, uh, New York Arms. Did you go to the beach joint? I didn't get to go there. Oh, oh. The New York Arm Wrestling one, the, um, the Jack Jack Aris's uh, yeah. tournament. 
it was it wasn't a big turnout. Yeah. But we had like some stellar Dude, stash. I match. went to the Battle of Baltimore with Dave Morocco. Bro, last weekend. And there was a hundred, maybe a hundred and six pullers there. Todd Zilla went down. Sam Harris went down. Yeah. Um, who else went down? I'm so mad I missed it. All the big names went down. <laughs> and I filmed it all. That's great. They all went down. This young redheaded kid. I forget his name. I'm going to have to find out before I start editing. So I don't feel like I have to say I apologize for not knowing this guy's name again. Because that sucks. But this kid, it was like a redheaded kid, like 21. Be Todd Zilla, be fucking Brandon Alcesser. <laughs> Yeah. And it was, yeah. And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? All these Titans are going, the the, 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 the title of the whole thing was Titans Fall. You asked me if I ever wanted to be a champion okay. at the sport. And um, really, that that's not the most important thing. If it comes, it comes. But um, see, when I first started, I remember going to the Eugene Camp tournaments in New York. And there was always these old guys hanging out. And arm wrestling. And these guys... You found them? They didn't find you? No, no. I, I found the Jersey guys from the traditions. There were these old guys that would enter the tournament, not care who they pull. They would just go up there and pull. Mm -hmm. They would get their asses kicked. Sometimes they won. You know, they didn't care. It's just something that gets into your blood. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's it, like, like, a, like a, a, a light of a it's torch. It's hard to explain. Yeah. When most people find out you're an arm wrestler, the growing consensus is, I didn't know that was a thing. We're here to change that. This sport has grown exponentially in the past couple of years. Some people use celebrities. Some people use views, subscriptions. But guys like Joey D, MBK, Jaron Nixon, Urban Arm Wrestling, and Jimmy fucking Walnuts, we're taking a different approach. A passion dagger right through the fucking heart. If you want change, if you want growth that lasts, you go right for the fucking feels. Forget about it. Finally, Walnuts has come back to New York. Yeah. I think so too. Everything's gotta be there. Yeah. 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 
Or so I'm throwing some money on there. You you saying outside outside the Oculus? Outside the Oculus, we do it any day. Inside the Oculus, from the building, yeah. 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 Because inside is really nice too. But I don't see that happening. Well, so with the mall closed at eight o'clock, we can do it inside the mall at events. I'm allowed to do it if it's almost for like charities. That's what we had to talk about. I want to do something like an NYPD versus FBY and have the yellow. I did the most fucking thing. I throw the box. 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 I I started getting the right tech. Nothing That's the next opportunity. Well, trade. Like when you see your bodybuilder step into it. It's not that. It's. He's out there. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of. There's a lot of space. In the office. Outside the office. Right there. Floor level. And the freedom tower right there. I can stand it off. We can have fucking right there. Yeah. 100%. And right across. Like really right across. There's a beard. Like beards everywhere. Beard going. Right outside. It's a very big space. Space. It's a big space outside. Inside's fucking tremendous. Like, you know, tremendous. I'll do it outside. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for that. I'll take a train there. I'll even take. That. I'll even take the security and just hey, wait, they can walk around. What do you need? Outside? Nothing. I thought he was going to take. All he needs to do is ask a question. I got it. I got it. I was like, I'll set the shit up big time. Can you get me a shot? That's what I thought too. Once I saw him, like Saturday night, whatever you want. Just like you said, the location. Because I also got the snack bar. No, 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 no. I just won't take that. that. It's a lot easier. Check it A lot easier. Well, I like to go shopping. But then again, I've seen that. Shot. You got it. What the fuck? You want to warm up right here? I need to warm up for shot. Go. Here we go. That's a pin. They want to pull it in, baby. What's up? 25, bro. All day, every day. Let's get it. You want that strength upgrade? I got what you need. I see Fusco is very, very determined, motivated. He is focused right now. He ain't looking at shit but his hand right now. Okay, okay, Justin got some kickback on that push. Okay, all right. Let's get the strap, baby. The strap, and I ain't got strap. MBK, Joey T, MBK, strap. Entering the ball game. We're in Strong Island, New York City. Jeremy, what's up, big champion? Looking at me, looking at you, Patrick Baffin at the down rep, JGTV in the building. Let's go! <laughs> That's right. Say that on the mic. Strap provided by NBK. Shout out, we love y'all. Appreciate the support always. Where's Linda at? This place is tremendous. This place is great. Let's get it. Okay, that was a good push. That push, that push. Yo, I need you to get pissed the fuck Let's off. Let's go, baby. Right Come on. <laughs> you're lit and you're in that place, but I need you to get pissed off there, boy. Let's go. We going left hand. Let's go. Get pissed off there, boy. Let's go. Remember, Jay, let me work. The focus is real right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, the vibes are tremendous. Let's go. Let's go. Pop out some 
some hardcore. Just focus. Battle for position right out the gate. Let's go. That was a strong push by Jones. Russell's trying to eat that push. Make his own play. Let's go. Russell's on it. That was them. Stop it off the bus, though. He's on his job, yo. I got done filming the first match. I'm up next. I, I'm just gonna put this out there. I love to arm wrestle. I love the sport. But I'm also a realist. I understand this position I'm put in. My place in this sport, in a big spectrum, doesn't involve me on a table. The reason why I get on the table is so I can be connected with you guys. I don't want to just be a guy with a camera filming people arm wrestling. I'll always be an arm wrestler. Probably never be a world champion because I just have so many things going on that 44 years old being a, a world champion is not on top of my list. My, my goals, my ambitions, my plans are much bigger than anything that I'm trying to do. At this part of your life, it's about giving, how are you going to give back to humanity? What can you do to give back to humanity? And I am trying to instill hope in people. And some people might call me fluffy. Some people might call me soft. But believe me, I've lived a hard, hard life. Stories you'll never hear. I put a smiley face on for you people. There's a lot of pain behind these eyes. Pain that I process, pain that I'm still processing through. But that's one beautiful thing about this sport, is it gives you a release without breaking the law or doing something stupid. You can go up there with one of your best friends and release all of your pain onto him. And he can either absorb it and defeat you, or you, maybe you get the better of him. Doesn't matter, you get that release. That's what this is really about for me, as far as on the table. So it looks like I'm about to be up. No matter how this goes down, it's already been written in the stars. So let's see how it goes down. Let's get it. Chris Field versus Jimmy G. Bagger Rice of Italy are on the line right now. Let's get it. We're going to let him get a little warm up in first. Let him warm it up. Test grips. Amos is just relaxed. I don't know what the fuck. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a rep. I thought y'all were just kind of like. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good. Yeah. You ready? You want to go shot? Yeah. You want to do a shot together? Yeah. Yo, this is for repping for the bragging rights of Italy. Y'all better do two shots. Yeah, Come on, let's go. Right, what do you pick? You pick. What are we doing here? What is it? Amateur hour? What are we doing? Whatever you want. Get your pocket. Get your pocket. They want to do a shot for Italy, so let them, let them do what they want. I don't want. I want them to be as comfortable as possible. I want their best effort, their best performance, so we're going to take a shot. Let's take a shot. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is right here. bragging rights, baby. Trust me. This is for this is for that group chat page. Bragging rights. Don't think I wasn't looking at that shit all day. Uh oh. Uh oh. I saw all that trash talking there. It was like that. I know Fusco saw it. It was like I know Daniel saw it. It was like that, Jaren. It was like that. Oh, it was heavy in there this morning. It was heavy in there. All right now. Let's go, Jimmy. Bragging rights. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Jimmy, let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Amos, okay. are we ready, Amos? Okay, okay. okay. Guys, are we ready? The Bragger Rice Foot. New York, Italy style. Spaghetti sauce battle. Let's do it. Let's get it. Pasta on the line. Who's the impostor? 
Oh, 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 Yo, D, that, that group chat might be lit tonight, Fusco. It might be lit tonight. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get it. I see the focus. Aim is making sure we're right. Let's go. Let's go. Chris is on. I know the one that should be. Where we at? What's that? Two's in? Hold on. Let's go, Jimmy G. Where we go? Good one right here. Y'all make some noise right here. Jimmy battling right now. Let's go, Jimmy. Let's get it. That was a good one, y'all. Clap it up for the guys, man. That was nice. Come on, Jimmy, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, Jimmy. Let's go, Chris. Make a little noise for the guys. Make some noise for them. They need some energy right now. Let's go. Let's go, good push by Chris. Jimmy G's fighting it all. Looking real focused right now, fighting off the push. Chris is trying to go for the clothes on that. See, Jimmy G, good put. Here you go, Jimmy. Good job right there. That was a good battle right there, guys. Clap it up for the guys. Clap it up. Oh, guys, a focus right here. The battle of Italy right here. Let's get it. Good hey, push by Jimmy G. Hey, nice. Get a win, Dad. Uh, <laughs> Great job, Chris. Clap it up. Clap it up. Oh, Let's go. Fuck this. One more. Let's go. One more. Five. Jimmy. Let's go, Jimmy. I love it. Yeah, Jimmy. Go, you no, got push, it. Push. What happened? Go. Drop it. Drop it. Drop your body. Drop your body. Hold it there. Hold it there. Yeah, drop your body, Jimmy. Don't read just yet. Right now these guys are battling right now. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Drop Jimmy. Here we go. Drop. Oh, you let go. You gave that two seconds. You gave that two seconds. No, no. Back in motion, baby. Chris Field. Oh, Peace. Clap it up, y'all. Good match. Clap it up for the guys. That was a good match right there. Clap it up. Great battle, guys. Great Maybe you have a rival or somebody that you go back and forth with. Uh, Is there someone in your in your experiences back that you I go back and forth started, with? When I, when I first started, it used to be Dave Grabowski in New, in New Jersey, yeah. Wayne Kiefer. Oh, you um, know, Wayne. Oh, shit. Nowadays, it's Big Steve Walker. Always. Oh man, always. 
The Walker, Steve. He's a I legend. Haven't, I haven't, a legend beat, him. I haven't beat him. Every time I get to him, you he beat always, him? No, I haven't. Oh, man. Every he's a time monster. I get to him, he always stomps. I, me. I film his kid, and but she's pretty it much seems like, like It he seems is. like every tournament I go to and I see him, I have to. I have That's to your. Uh, what, one thing I learned from Steve Black was to, to learn how to develop a ladder. Do you have a ladder? You know what a ladder is? Yeah. But is there anyone in your immediate thinking? That if someone were to ask you if you had a ladder, there's someone that you're gunning for that you need to talk, that you need to beat in order to feel like you've accomplished something. You have that name in mind. You know what? That's funny. No, you don't. I just because there's some people that don't fucking matter. I I go some to people a don't matter. I don't I don't prepare for anyone. You don't want to do individual preparation. What I what I find is, oh, if I'm going up against someone who's a hooker, I'm going to try working. What if you find out a big name's coming to a tournament in your class? Do you prepare for that person? No. In the, you don't, I treat everybody exactly everybody's the same. same. You could be that a, probably could be eliminates a, a lot of stress from you. Yes, yeah. because when I used to do super matches, I'm like, oh, okay, this guy's a hooker. I have to yeah. work about. I have to worry about his hook. Right. And then I, I started thinking, I'm like, why am I worrying about his shit? Right. I have to worry about you my do own your stuff. Shit. No doubt. He's got to worry about what I'm doing, no doubt. not me worrying about them. Yeah. I'm already setting myself You're up. You're psyching yourself walks. out and shit. Yeah. No doubt. So, like, I went to the one tournament, the Empire Arms. I pulled the same night. I pulled Marcio Barbosa. The same night. I pulled Steve Walker. I, uh, I don't know his last name. Georgie, this big giant Russian, uh, uh, Georgian guy, Georgie, oh, yeah. and and um, uh, Roger. What's his last Bailey. name? Bailey. Uh, yeah, Roger. Did he Blair beat Hill. you? Yeah, he oh. whipped my ass. He's on, but on you know, uptick. lefty, lefty, he's a beast. On, yeah, on, yeah, on the lefty, he's on an uptick. But the way I look at it is, is I go after everybody. That's pretty fucking smooth to me, brother. Okay, we up to round two. Brett went round one. Trying to handle it. Going for round two right now. Brian with the push. Brian with the push. Back pressure, bro. Back pressure. What? This guy really comes up on the lefty. What's Brett's that? getting a little slow. Yeah. Brett, you look pretty goddamn smooth, my dude. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. Okay, <laughs> you okay. Do you have an answer, my my good well, man? Let's give it up for Brian for taking answer? on the challenge, though, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for Brian for right. taking on this challenge. Right. Hey. Let's give it up for this man. Come on, Brian. Let's go. Step it up. <laughs> want to make some money? Yeah. Oh, oh, Great story. Brian, suck it back. Suck it back, Brian. what I said, baby. Come on. Let's go. Round three. Let's get it. Brett Remember your hand placement. placement. Look at that fucking view on that door. Bumps. Fingers. Look at the focus. Look at the focus. Ain't nobody getting tossed in the pool. Let's go. What? I'm gonna ask you a question. No homo. Are you single? Yeah. Bro, you got like two sets. Two sets of uh, lipstick on your, on your cheeks, bro. Say what? That means you got two sets of uh, uh, lipstick on your cheeks. Are they both from the same girl? What? Are they both from the same girl? It's is from that, the same girl. Is that the good luck? It is. Who am I talking to? Welcome to JGTV Television. I'm sorry, what? JGTV. What I do, my friends, is I take these arm wrestling events and I turn them into movies. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Church of Arm Wrestling, you too. Same, same I got this world. weird feeling that you got a match coming up, and I don't even know who the fuck you are. Jay Smitty, who runs the city. Whoa! What city is this, my guy? New York City. Oh! Who are you going up against? No one today. For real? It's a name. This must be his better head. It's a name. Who am I talking to here? Like Jasmine. Tremendous. Who are you going up against, for real though? No, I'm, I was just invited. I don't have any any matches right now. I'll take on anyone. I might not win. Uh -oh. Bro, two pairs of lipstick on your face. You just sound like you're going place. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah? I'm going to be always with him. Doesn't matter if you win or not. But stay tuned to find out. JGTV.
Let's pull a bragger right side here. Ain't that right there, you shorts? So prime time pull a bragger right side here. Somebody gonna talk a lot of shit in practice on Wednesday. That's all I'm saying. Somebody gonna be able to talk a lot of shit in practice when they on on Wednesday. I realize you were. Let's go, Danny. I'm gonna fuck this up. Who's gonna have bragging rights at practice on Wednesday? Only one of y'all gonna be able to talk. I'm shutting the other one down. Whoever loses, I'm shutting down on Wednesday. Look at the focus. They already know what this is about right now. Tandy with the strong push. Danny's gonna talk about it. Remember that bite. Remember that bite. Get serious. Right. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about. Good push. Okay. Brad. Let's fucking go, Brad. Big ass in the building. This is right now. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Go, Brad. Go. I love it. Chalky yeah, in full position and look at that. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit it. Get the strap. Chi Chi, get the strap. Look at the focus. Same thing, bro. Same thing. Focus. This is the prom sound for the bragging rights right here. Somebody's gonna get to talk a lot of this shit and practice on Wednesday. That's all I'm saying. And it's some push by Danny Busco, man. There's no fucking formula. Everybody goes up there. Some guys turn around, they close their eyes, they scream, they get fucking crazy. Some guys are really fucking relaxed. Some guys, it's just a little bit of something in between. Everybody's got their own thing. It's not something you can teach, but would you be in agreement and saying with me that between A, you being a regular person, and then B, you having to switch into something to be able to compete, do you think there has to be some kind of fucking switch that has to go off? For me personally, yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. Like I, I, I'll slap myself. Yeah, I'll do uh, huff uh, ammonia, you right? Know, the, the ammonia oh yeah, tablets. I'll oh, yeah. do that. Uh, you know, I'll slap my chest, shit like yeah. that. You know, just, like I don't go up there screaming like a maniac, oh, no. but yeah, you'll yeah. see me. I'll. Everybody's got their own thing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. It's crazy. I remember my first Keystone that I went to. I didn't know nothing about the sport, but I was at a bar with these two guys. And they were up there for the first time. They were arm wrestling for the first time. Both of them were going through different life struggles, I guess. Yeah. And they both kind of, in some sort of weird way in the conversation, said that they brought their troubles or their shit to the table and released it on each other. And they didn't know each other. Both these guys are new. And when it was done, they both were like really close after the fact. Yeah. And it was like, it's a weird sport where like me and you could beat the shit out of each other and then be super fucking tight oh, yeah. afterwards. And I don't, I, I know people know about those kinds of stories, but I don't think enough of people do. Mm -hmm. Like, we have these tournaments, there's great matches, there's upsets yes. and all this and that and the third. Why the fuck am I doing this? Everybody's fucking doing this. I'm trying to capture something that's different than what everyone else is filming. To everybody like, to for everybody. example, Madison Walker and her dad sharing a pound after a match because her and her dad train together so hard, you know what I mean? Or like, you know what I mean? Maybe you beating I, somebody I that you didn't think you could count, beat. I can't count the amount of times when I say I'm an arm wrestler and people say, well, what's that? That's right. A, that's a thing. It's not that simple. I, I, that's one of the things I hate the most. <laughs> yeah. It's like you go out there and you, you get kill that random yourself. question a lot. You get, uh, all the time. Yeah. Oh, you arm wrestle? I didn't know that was a thing. Right. But you know what? And you what you could un right you could unload. Is, is you could unload. Me.
Let's get it. JGTV. Yo, what's a nightmare, Dan? Dan, what is a nightmare? I want to know what a nightmare is, Dan. Let's go. What is the nightmare? What does it mean? How did he become the nightmare, Dan? Dan, how did you become the nightmare? Are you going to show us real here real quick? Let's go. Team Captain stepped up a weight class to take on this challenge, man. Let's go, y'all. Get him, Dan. NZK Strap. Presented by Joey D. Minnesota Joey D. Shout out. We're lit. Linda Lynn, where's Linda? We're in New Long, Long Island. Look at the push. Daniel, son, let's go, big ball. Jamal's trying to take the push and add the pressure on there. Daniel's fighting. Jamal got that. Jamal with the win. Jamal with big the big Jamal boy. With the win. A special challenge. Jamal, where are you gentlemen. from, big dog? Justin against Brett. Queen. Left hand. Wow. Repping the queen. Repping queen. Wow. How long you been pulling, big homie? The young studs. How long you been pulling? They just can't be around each other and not compete. All right. Right. Wait, wait. 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 Brotherly love. Two twenty weight class, one seventy six weight class. Brotherly love. You either can or you can't, Dan. Let's go. I couldn't do it, but I couldn't do it. But somehow you're wet. Did you jump in the pool, big homie? Yeah. You missed that. I missed it. I always miss the good shit. This is gold right here. This is gold. I can't wait to see the JGT be edited. When I make a movie out of this, oh my god, this is legendary. Yo, the losers should get tossed in the pool, but I'm not gonna do that because I ain't got no shorts there. Huh? Missed that. The last time. Somebody got tossed. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Well, he's, no, I know what his head is at. Next time we do this, everybody who loses gets tossed into your <laughs> meme for sure, including myself. He's looking at it again, man. By him. That's so awesome. I can't believe it. Did anybody catch it? Left hand. This is the Yo. Best pool. <laughs> Renee! Renee, I need that footage. Let's make it happen. Adrian, my good friend, what do all the arm wrestlers do? Give me both of them. That's it. That's it. There's a lot of cocaine on the table right now. The Italian stallion table is being used in competition for the first time. I got my ass whipped, but it is all right. She done chopped off the right hand. I don't know. She's about to call somebody out. She's calling out Pyro. She's calling out Pyro. Wonder Twins. Daniel's son, what is this good business right here? What is the nightmare, Dan? What is the nightmare, Dan? What is the nightmare? Let's go. What is the nightmare, Dan? What is the nightmare, Dan? Concentrate, focus, there you go, focus, take your time, baby. Take your time with it, don't rush. Lipstick on his face. Oh, you know, this guy had a girl here. This guy had a girl here with all his lipstick on his face. Listen, man, he's a lady. What's your last name? Right now. Right now. Do we have any people ready to like King of the Table? Pedro Rodriguez. You got, what do you got? Oh, you got your fucking glasses? Yeah, yeah. Are you guys friends? Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna win this fucking thing? Pedro Rodriguez. Whoever, the best man wins, bro. Listen. I'm gonna make a movie out of this one way or another. Hell yeah. Are you gonna be the winner or the loser, brother? I don't know, man. We'll see. Stay tuned to find out here on JG. I need an organic drink right now. Yeah. It's yeah. the green beverages that I yeah. Who's the DJ? Shout out the Long Island Juices for coming through. We love you guys. Okay, it's the Brett with the push. I almost had him, but that's a strap. We gotta get the strap on that one, dog. What's up? What up? What up? KGTV in the house. Yeah. Hell yeah. The young boy. Who's the young boy? Is it Justin? Is it Brett? Good God, let the 
man strap up their hands for God's sake. Come on. Wait till you see what I do with it instead, bro. Oh my God. Where's Linda at, goddammit? This is for the young bull supremacy of prime time, brother. Brett with the push. Look at that. Justin is going hard right there, trying to stop the push. But Brett looking at him like this light bro. right now. I don't know. Your wife's smiling. Like Why is he smiling like that? He's smiling like that. Back and do it again. How are you gonna do that? Still relax. Practice on Wednesday. This is the first time he did this thing. That's easy, Justin. Don't show up. Yeah, bro. Yo, is this the first time he did this thing? No. I've been doing it. I've been doing this for like two and a half years now. See? Yeah. You New York native? On the record, we are on the fucking red button with JGTV, Jared Nixon, JGTV. Urban Arm Wrestling, JGTV, yes, Jared Nixon's debut on the channel. Yes, it is. And I have been dying to ask you this question. Shoot, brother. You're an entertainment guy. Correct. You know how to promote Correct. entertainers. That is my background. Why? Arm wrestling. Wow. Can you tell me? Yeah, I can tell you. Yo, what the fuck are you doing in arm wrestling? I'm going to be honest, just like everybody else, man. The movie Over the Top. Ever since I saw it, I became a huge fan of the sport. You know, I stayed with How old are you? I'm 44 years okay, old. Okay, you're the same age as me, guys. So a lot of people probably don't even know that about no, me. No, continue. I on. am 44 years old. I do come from a music business background. That is what my degree is in. Mm -hmm. I come from promoting and so forth. So I do have a background in promoting and advertising and marketing. But to answer your question, yes. Ever since I was a kid, I watched Over the Top, just like many of us in the sport of arm wrestling. And immediately fell in love with it, you know? No, I wasn't able to, uh, you know, arm wrestle as I went on in high school and stuff because I did play football and lacrosse. Those were my What did you play in football? I played football from, as a, uh, I'm not even going to lie to you, I, I graduated high school early, so I actually was a senior at 16 years old playing my senior season of football. So now that's a little immature at the time like that, but I kind of flourished in lacrosse, so I became an all-star in lacrosse. What? That was really the sport that got me into college was being a defensive midfielder in lacrosse. You talk about over the top and that yeah, feeling. But the over the top movie is what What did you got feel my, I, just when passion, you watched that movie? The passion of And that stay with you through your life. And, the and it just stayed with me because I'm a very passionate and I find motivation in anything. So I just found motivation in that movie as far as just his passion to want to compete. And I'm a competitor myself. So as I got on older promoting parties and stuff, I just always wanted to try to find a different platform to just be able to create my own type of vision, but also help something evolve. So arm lesson just stayed with me. And then just from a conversation with one of my best friends, it came up when I was actually like, what's next? Yeah. He was like, yo, what about arm wrestling? Like, you always talk about it. I know you still watch Over the Top, which I, all, I <laughs> always watch Over the Top. Really? Like, anytime it's on TV, Bro, I'm saving I don't that mind. what part it's in. I just watch the whole movie till ending. So no doubt. it was always a love there. So when arm wrestling came up, I was like, why not arm wrestling? So I immediately started getting in contact with uh, Anthony LaPerio at Power Arm, Powerhouse. Yeah. And he introduced me to uh, Nitro. He gave me Nitro. Nitro's the name. We got a lot then, of people in this thing. Once I met Nitro, I'm yeah. not going to lie. And shout out to Al Scalvo. I had many conversations with Al Scalvo, who was originally from Long Island, but lives in Florida. But I consider him one of like my first mentors. I had hours and hours of conversations with Al Scalvo about arm wrestling that morphed into conversations with Anthony and therefore into Nitro. And once I got the Nitro, everything started falling in place. That's when I was able to start executing creating my own events and tournaments, being introduced to a lot of you guys. You had them belts, and belts yeah. are tremendous. Exactly, I, and I wanted to do something different. That's why I wanted to stand out, and I know how passionate you guys are about the sport, and I want people to understand that this sport also, to me, is considered like a baby brother to mixed martial arts in boxing. Oh, it's a, min it's a miniature so, martial arts. You know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to create the belts for you guys, to give you guys that feel of it being a, a big fight type of scene when you guys hit the table. Well, me growing up with Rocky and not really having a father figure around, mm -hmm. whenever I was down, like I would watch those montages over and over, Yo, and that day. would pick me up. And it I don't know if up. that's sad. No, it's I don't not know sad. if that's good. It's good because it I'm just tell you is why. what it is. The, the story 
of Rocky. Like the craziest yeah. thing, when I was running for school board election, I even put a post up of one of the Rocky montages. Real. Just, Real. Him, just him being motivated when his wife yeah. had the baby in Rocky yeah. too. And he didn't even want to box anymore. He was ready and to just be a family something. man. And she told him to go out there and win that damn fight. And he went out there, he practiced, he went out there, put the work in. It's more than it's more than just the, a movie. The, I mean, it just a movie. It epitomizes the Thank bloodline you. of people who really get after him, Phil. And the journey. It's about yeah. the journey he went to before he even got to the ring. That's what people need to start looking at. It's about the journey. The finish is going to be there, but it's about the journey. But the we thing, learn from the journey. One thing that I learned, one thing I figured out through doing all this filming, is I found a way to capture that feeling that we get from watching Rocky into Correct. this little ball that I call a little baby. And that baby is called this thing of ours. That's correct. And this thing of ours is not just about seminars or tournaments correct. or champions. It's about families who support the correct. people pulling. It's about the females that don't get credit for it. That's, that's, it's that's about the true. males who are under the radar. It's about the families who drive hundreds and hundreds of miles. It's about the people who believe in themselves, Correct. who will spend everything they have to fly all over fly this all country. Over and that's why Jimmy G is here for story. So Chris Field, he whooped my ass, but guess what? He's a friend of mine. So who, my guy here, he also did very well today. So did you guys grow up together? Yeah, we live by each other. Did you guys train arm wrestling together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. Are you guys both coming back together at the same time? What's that way? Why? Why the fuck are you doing it? Because I think I can beat most of the lightweights out there. Is there something that you're seeing that's pissing you off? Yeah, I don't train and I do pretty good. So is this guy doing it. What do you think, boss? I think it's a good time to make a comeback. How old are you? 37. Jesus Christ, I'm 44 years old. How old are you? I'm 35. Holy fuck, I can be both your uncles. Jesus Christ. Right. Look for someone your age, that guy right there, beast mode. Who's this guy? Pedro With Pedro? I call him the bear. Listen, the bear. Jesus bear. You know him well? You know what a twink and a bear is? A gay bear? Pedro's a bear. He's a big goddamn guy. Oh, right, Yo, but Patrick Baff is going up with Eon, and I'll tell you what, that's the main event of the day. That is the best. Between me, you, and a hole in the wall, if there's anything worthy of seeing a real arm wrestle match today, this is it's about to go match. down. This player. is a real arm wrestle match. Me and you are going to have a long friendship, but guess what? Right now, we're going to enjoy some arm wrestling, aren't we? Oh, no, 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 Can I get some zap? All right, let's go. go. Emo! ESPN Big Dog! Patrick Baffer represent New York. <laughs> Fuck out of here, JGTV oh, in the building. Let's get it, pimping. I don't want to fall in the pool, Jaren. I don't want to fall in the pool, Jaren. Too, too much energy. Champion. There's too much energy in the two building. I don't want to fall in the pool, Jaren. I don't want to fall in the pool. Let's go. Sports Center's finest. Georgia. ABC's Georgia's bring a different kind of energy, don't they, boss? Let's get it. Patrick versus Fuck Let's get it. Let's go. All eyes on the table right now. Let's, Let's go. go, Pat. What's up, big dog? Best out of five. I need to see knuckles. Ready? Pat, you got New York on your fucking. Oh! They got that different kind of energy, brother. Georgia in the building. Invasion of the New is taking on this battle. Let's go. Let's clap it up. Let's make some noise right now. More to them than it does to Americans. I don't know. Jimmy, what's going on right now? What is it? You're seeing what I'm seeing right now. a whole different kind of energy, brother. Patrick's got New York on his shoulders. Let's make some noise in this piece Let's go, Big T. What's up? Whoa. That almost happened. They broke the table already. Oh, shit. They broke the Italian table already. Listen, uh... My deck went from eight inches to about one and point four or five. You know where to send the bill to Georgia. Let's 
Let's go, make some noise. Pat, what do you got, bro? You got a reply? Let's get it. Let's go, ball. Let's go. Good push by Patrick. Good push. Oh, we got a fucking Patrick Baffle. Taking on that challenge. He got my full respect right here. Jared, I didn't want it, but I was thinking like the loser could get thrown in the pool, but I got no choice. But that would be cool if you got thrown in the pool like a little kid. I agree. You guys are ass. We gotta go. Where's Let's go round two, we get in the strap. Two-time world champion Emo gets our very own New York's Patrick Baffle. The focus is real right now, ladies and gentlemen. The focus is real. Yo, who you got, Jaren? Who you got, bro? That's a tough call, man. I love both these guys, man. I'm a homer, though, man. Let's get it, Pete. Let's go, Pete. Watch your elbow, watch your elbow, bro. Pat, you got New York on your back, Jack. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's go, good push Pat. by Patrick. Good push by Patrick. Evo, Evo is an Evo, Evo, Evo. 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 Sports Center's finest. All right, we're going to take a little bit, a little bit to low right now. We're going to let these guys cool off a little bit. You know what I mean? Relax the arms. We'll get Different right kind of three, my guy. Oh, let's go. I've been in this sport a couple of years now, and there's one thing I see a lot of. This sport is filled with a lot of people who deal with a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of loss, suffering. Arm wrestling is our release. I've said it in previous videos. I've heard it too many times, so it's worth repeating. Sometimes, arm wrestling saves lives. If you hang around arm wrestling long enough, you'll hear the word family. We're all family. It's the most unique sport I've ever seen. Where else will you see people gather together from all over the country? One of God's greatest gifts to men and women children all over the world is the gift of adversity game of arms it was a show that brought a lot of people into this sport because it showed you what goes on beyond the table there is no more game of arms but there is JGTV and myself and Jaren are gonna attempt to write the next chapter. So is arm wrestling the thing? <laughs> it's much more than that. Stay tuned to find out. This was just an appetizer. December will be here real soon.